This is the visualization for clearing space for new frequencies. So find a comfortable space to lie down or sit tall, uncross your legs and arms, and allow yourself to focus on the breath coming in and out, not through any efforting, but through receiving. So let's feel the opposite of that first. Take a deep breath in. Feel how much constriction kind of comes in the body when we think of taking. And now just let it go. Exhale. Now hold it out. Hold it out. Get it all out. And I want you to think of the word allow. And just soften and lovingly allow the breath in. Play around with that over the next few breaths. Maybe you go back and forth between the take, the deep breath, like kind of like a grasping or a desperate energy of grasping, attachment. And then play with allowing, lovingly receiving the energy of let it be. And notice if the breath finds new places in the body deeper place just by softening. And with the eyes closed and connecting with this breath, turning the attention inwards, bringing your attention into the low belly seeing a beautiful orange glow in the pelvis. See it playful and creative, childlike, filled with the pleasure of freedom to be, completely free. And then bring your attention to the third eye. That space right between the two hemispheres of the brain. And see a beautiful indigo colored light. This is a mixture of purples and reds and blues all swirling about. The center of our intuition self-trust and the depth of the ocean of imagination. See these two beautiful centers illuminated in the body. Creating space for something new. When something ends, there is always something that begins. When we let go of something, we always receive something as well. When we say yes, we always have something that is a no we're saying to as well. Just as when we say no, we are also saying yes to something else. This is the beautiful dichotomy that exists on this physical plane. And we can play with that now as we use our imagination to take inventory of the parts of ourselves that have felt constricted, lacking playful, creative freedom. Mm -hmm. 
what area sticks out the most for you? And rather than go into the story or the energetic, emotional sense of what that area feels like, stay in that higher seeing place of observation with detachment. If you need to, use the mantra, isn't that interesting? To keep you in that observing mind and not get pulled under that emotional wave. Feel the awareness and the wisdom in that higher seeing place of the third eye. Look at how that area has played out. Maybe you can look back and see, here's where it started to feel more neglected or constricted or put on the back burner. And perhaps giving yourself credit or life credit or even your villains in life credit, perhaps that is exactly what needed to happen at that time. For constriction is essential for expansion. Sometimes we need to find that constriction in order to bloom even more fully. We see this in nature all over. Even the trees every year constrict with the seasons to find new blossoms. So in taking this inventory of this area, looking at where it may have begun to constrict, honor that reason. Maybe it wasn't the priority. Something else had to come front and center. See if you can step away from the tendency or the addiction or the default of making something yourself or someone else or life wrong. See if you can hold the space for that divine perfection of unfolding. Only then when we put our faith and trust in that wholeness do we reap the blessings and see the lessons that came with this. Now, in this clearing out of this area, what have you outgrown? What lesson have you learned? And what are you ready now to put down or place to the side, or file in the back of your awareness, rather than discard anything, because it is a part of us. Perhaps it goes into the reference section of the library of our mind. Always there in case we need to consult it, or have a perspective. But what are you ready to allow to fade more into the background, to lose focus? And what are you ready to claim, to create, to embody, to voice, to manifest, to magnetize? Play with that imagination. Watch the edit and that default to be reasonable or to surrender to logic rather than playing in the vastness of that infinite possibility that you are.
Allow all to be possible in this moment and feel into the frequency of that new reality. What does it feel like to embody that new reality? A reality is constructed by your belief system. So what beliefs, what do you put your faith into? What do you feed in your mind, your thoughts, your words, your actions, your frequency? That is a match for that reality. With your breath, allow that frequency to pour in just because you're asking for it and it is given. Feel gratitude that that energy is there and that manifestation is on its way. Feeling that gratitude requires faith, assurance and knowing deep in your heart that all is unfolding beautifully just like spring unfolds every petal, every year. You're not alone, and yet your separateness allows for you to know yourself, experience this beautiful life, to grow and to create. Breathe in that frequency. Maybe it has a color, maybe it has a texture or a sparkle. Maybe it has a sound or perhaps a song accompanies it. Feel that energy as fully as you can allow yourself to and open to this, letting go of the how, just keeping in your heart the faith and the frequency. Allow your breath to deepen receiving movement back into your body, into your fingers and toes. And taking your time to slowly come back into the room and open the eyes.